road. Yes! That's what I've been waiting for! Um, okay, I'll try. Gary! You are gonna finish your dessert, and you are gonna like it! Ah! Now it's your turn. That's not what I meant, you burning old head! Ooh, good one. No! What's up guys? It is the Nightwing Way of Life Esports coming at you guys with another League of Legends video. And after watching Gen G completely getting obliterated by SKT, um, I thought I had to unwind myself before I do my uh, two big LCK videos coming up very, very soon. Is that MSI, you guys already know, has been cancelled. I already leaked that information. And now we're going to have some Worlds 2020 updates coming very very soon and a lot of people are even still talking right now saying um is there even still gonna be a world's 2020 yeah i mean if they're making changes like this they do plan on you know holding it somewhere so at least worlds will at least happen but worlds doesn't happen for like quite some time so no msi no rift rivals you know that's just crazy about what this virus has actually done to the world, but uh, let's see what the changes are. Since the LPL and LEC are ranked first and second right now, based on their international performances over the last two years, each region will have four qualifying teams for Worlds. The VCS will be allocated a second seed since it is the strongest international performances out of the single seed leagues. Here are the 2020 world regional seed distributions lpl and the lec receive four teams yeah that's crazy right lpl and lec specifically for this year will have four teams not even just the lec because obviously um a team like Origin doesn't even this year have to beat fanatic or g2 and could just still make worlds the same thing that goes with any other fourth team, like Mad Lions, or Misfits, or Rogue. Now in China, that's even more detrimental to the world seeding, because you factor in, what if you get IG, FPX, R, like, well, RNG is not, not that good right now without Uzi, but you see my point there, what if they get Uzi, and they're extremely strong, and then they get a team like JD and G in there, like, four teams for China. That's crazy. The LCK and the LCS will get three teams as usual. PCS and VCS have two teams each. And then you have the other um, wild card regions with having their one team each. And this is actually really interesting. I just don't really personally think that this is the way to balance the tournament. You know, having four LPL teams. I mean, to be fair... You're looking at hindsight right now, and obviously one of them can choke. And obviously Origin is not going to be that strong internationally. I just couldn't really think of them as a strong international team. Um, but I just don't understand, is this really the need to make the event a lot more spicier? I mean, it's not going to happen next year if the virus is gone. And I don't think that we really have to put too much thought into this. I mean, yeah, four LPL teams seem pretty scary, and that is, but four LEC teams are no joke either. So, I mean, it's okay. We'll just have to see how it really goes. But as you guys know, Riot has officially canceled MSI 2020. It does suck, though, because a lot of people wanted to see um, Cloud9 on the international stage, but they obviously uh, didn't get that. And then XL Esports part ways with their mid laner Mickey. And if you are subscribed to their YouTube channel, you'll also know they also parted ways with Expect as well. If you guys remember Expect, he was previously on G2 where he won uh, three titles. So yeah, let's see what XL are going to actually do. We have reviewed the situation internally and feel that to be confident in reaching that goal in the summer split of 2020, a change is necessary. XL Esports said goodbye to its later today. Mickey has departed from the League of Legends team and will be returning home to Korea 
with teammate expect the organization announced today excel had another disappointing season in the lec placing seventh with a 7 and 11 record the team struggled to find an identity over the course of the split despite the leadership head coach of young buck uh holding the helm our lec team finished in seventh place during the spring split 2020 which was an improvement on both splits last year but ultimately we fell short of reaching our goal to make playoffs young buck said we have reviewed the situation internally and feel that to be confident in reaching that goal in the 2020 split uh for summer a change is necessary although the team failed to live up to expectations and advanced to the spring playoffs, Mickey was arguably the best player on the team. He had one of the largest champion pools in the league and his mechanics were on point, but Mickey and Jungler Cajal were never on the same page. The pair neglected to communicate and work together as a cohesive unit. That's going to obviously happen when you have a Korean mid laner and a English talking jungler. It's unclear where the move uh, will lead Mickey next. He could return to Korea and join the Challengers League, remain in Europe, or even head back to North America. As for Excel, the team will likely look closer to home and recruit rookie talent, but importing players certainly isn't out of the question. The 2020 summer split for the LEC is set to begin on May 22nd. Yeah, so around next month, we're going to start the spring split. And to be honest, that makes the most sense, given the fact that, you know, Riot could easily just capitalize on their, um, you know, uh, virus problems right now that the world is having. I personally think that there's just a lot to really look over in terms of Excel. I mean, for them to even be a contender in the LEC, this is going to have to be something that a lot of teams are going to learn in the LEC, or like the new dogs, well, newish dogs like Excel, Mad Lions, Mid, uh, uh, Rogue, is that to be good in the LEC, like I've seen over the years, it takes a lot of discipline from a lot of the coaching staff, a lot of discipline from a lot of the players that they uh, usually always bring on. At one point, Unicorns of Love, if you guys watch that far, were a joke, and then obviously later on after that, they were looked at as a pretty good team, because the older you get, the more wiser you get, and these guys right now are really, really new, so I don't really expect, pun intended, that they truly understand what it needs and what it also takes to be really good right now in the LEC, and... I personally think that them making all these changes, especially right now, is something that you never really uh, want to really uh, go through in certain moments. And I don't really personally know what they can do. Uh, obviously, they have a pretty weak team right now. And let's look at their um, YouTube page. Uh, let's see. Let's go with... Excel, Excel Esports, yeah, they have almost 10k subscribers, yeah, thank you, Mickey, and then you also have another thing right here, yeah, so they have released both Expect and Mickey, they already talked about this, um, this was not a surprise to me personally, uh, we already knew, they alluded to, um, letting these two go now if they want to do better than and let's say they want to do better than rogue you should have like goals in mind so for the lec since it's way harder than north america if you really want to get better they're gonna to have to set goals for themselves okay so this year we almost made playoffs so next split let's make changes right and even hey i'm a firm believer if you don't ever get where you need to go make changes life is too short for you to be sitting around pining for players that you like have fun with no this is not a freaking circus this is us doing our jobs right and then we can have fun on the side i personally think that in order for them to really get that far they need to set goals for themselves that are small goals that lead into long-term goals and that's my personal take on that but it did say grig may have been released by dignitas and i know yeah jenji got their fucking Oh my goodness, Jenji got their fucking shit caved in by SKT. Holy crap, that was painful to watch. Um, Dignitas. 
Dignitas on Twitter. Because it says they may have released Greg. Uh, I, I don't really care for Dignitas too much. I only follow the team's Twitters because it obviously, you know, is going to breach you with, like, Twitter banter and information. It's just something like, like that. Also, if you guys um want to follow my Twitter, it's right here. My Twitter is is right here but i can't show you my personal dms uh but yeah this is my twitter 52 followers holy crap i'm i'm definitely getting up there but uh let's see how they may have released greg um there's nothing here there's nothing here um they may have released greg today's the 25th this came out on the 24th. Okay, so let's go through the 24th of tweets. Nope. Nothing came out. Unless, like, Invern Global has something. Invern Global. FNC rebrand. What the fuck? Oh, yeah, that was a while ago. Esports Company. League of Legends. I'm just trying to figure out where this Grig news is coming from. Uh. Okay. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nori talk. Nope. There's no news on Grig may or may not being re being released. That's pretty much it. I mean, they they might release more info about it soon. But yeah, that's it. See you guys later. Like, comment, subscribe. Most of all, enjoy. I got way more good stuff coming out today. Uh, I do plan on doing my um LCK roundup videos. My uh first part of it where I'll be talking about uh the spring split for it, and then I'll be doing a recap of the final. So yeah, be on the lookout for those videos. They're gonna be pretty good. And I'll see you guys in my in my next video. Peace. I didn't know. Subscribe to the channel for more stuff. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>